Football teams now one win from the state championship game. Yeah, but one team is the talk of the state in Kentucky after a big upset. Sports director Joe D is on that story. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's a rhythm to a playoff run. It's line up, take your shot, repeat. But it's what this team did in its run that made them the hit no, no, no. of the state. It's one of those that'll, you know, that we'll remember for a while. <laughs> It's state semifinal week in Kentucky, and football practice in late November Open. is pretty Break. standard Break. at Covington Good Catholic. Man, Good. It's one of those things where we, we do have a standard. Coach E preaches that. It's the standard. Winning is the standard here at Cuffcath. An eight-time state championship winning program, this time winning a regional championship. The Covington Catholic Colonels. Stunned the state of Kentucky. We've been talking about it all week. We heard talks like around the state. And even after the game, I s saw people like on Twitter saying is that the biggest upset in state history, all that kind of stuff. USA Today, Max Preps, some of the biggest voices in Kentucky sports called it one of the biggest upsets in recent state history. <laughs> Cuffcath beating nationally ranked Boyle County ending their 32 game winning streak. Our motto this year as a team was finish it and that's because we couldn't finish it last year and win the state championship. I think we all had a chip on our shoulder going into that game last week. I think the chip's even just growing more and more the closer we get to state. We gotta keep growing, you guys got it? Uh, a statement win on the road to a possible state championship. We've came a long way. I mean, we've been through everything together. Losses, tough losses, big wins. We've been together, it's just trust. Nobody cares what you did yesterday. They only care what you're about to do now in, in the present time. So, um, you know, that's the, been the message that, hey, yeah, you did a great job. Pat yourselves on the back, but let's get back to work because, you know, nobody's going to remember anything if, uh, you know, you're not, uh, you're not completing the next task. In Park Hills, Joe Daneman, Fox 19 Now.